All right, ask yourself this. What has been your holiday kryptonite? Maybe eggnog, candy canes, not to mention all that greasy food so many of us ate. Here with me today is Dr. Duck Vong. You are the uh, medical director of bariatrics for Loveless right. uh, Medical Center. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, so first of all, let's, uh, you brought in an example because we're, we're going to juice something. Right. Um, but let, I want to talk about a little bit about why, how important it is to get your body back on track, especially after the holidays. Well, you know, I've never done it personally, but you might have, but sometimes we overdo it during the holidays. We drink too much, we eat too much, and we really get <laughs> I'll it. admit it for yeah, both of us, we yeah. really need to detox our livers. And uh, I'm here today to give you three great tips, easy, simple, cheap tips, uh, okay. that will get your 2014 on track, so it'll be your year. Yeah, because we, because we want to feel good. And yeah, absolutely. I, you know, coming out of the holidays, while we had a grand time, uh, you know, kind of feeling heavy right. because of all the stuff. So the first so, thing you can do is juice. Okay, um, juice. And maybe you really overdid it during the holidays and you don't have money in your budget for a juicer. Okay. But most people have a blender. Okay, so, so another use alternative your is to use your blender. So okay. we're gonna try to do this really simple recipe. All right. Most people are familiar with juicing uh, fruits, but mm -hmm. not everyone knows that you can also juice your vegetables. Okay. So Elizabeth, do you know what this is? Um, I cheated. This is kale, that which, is kale. by the way, I, I've never really, I've never juiced and I've never eaten this, but I've heard wonders about kale. It is probably pound for pound the healthiest food item you can eat. Okay, so, kale. But we can juice it. So go ahead and throw that in the Okay, about blender. how much? Like a bunch like oh, this? Oh, as much as you like. So there's no right. real recipe. Let's you want to tear it up green. into smaller parts okay. with the blender I as, did opposed wash my the, hands. as opposed to the juicer. Thank you okay. for that. Okay. And now you want some blueberries? I love blueberries. For their um, antioxidant properties. Antioxidant. Okay. Yep. Any type of apple. This is two chopped up apples. You do want to mm. seed your fruit. Get rid of all the seeds. The Peel it would be nice. Um, okay. Then you can throw in things like uh, oranges. Oranges. For some sweetness. For, okay. You can also use yeah. carrots for sweetness. Okay. So we don't put any artificial sweeteners, no sugar, anything like that. And then a little bit of ginger for its anti-inflammatory properties. Ginger. What, yeah. what is this for? Anti-inflammatory properties. Yeah, it's super healthy for you. I didn't know that's what ginger was for. Just one? Yep. Okay. Or however much you like. And then squeeze a lemon. Lemon. And then with the blender, you have to thin it down. So here's some water. I'll have, have you add some water. And we'll run that okay. blender. Should I put the whole thing in there? No, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like. About halfway up just to get it to liquefy. And you're going to add enough water um, to get it to the consistency you want. Is now that with, good? Yeah, Doctor? that's pretty good. Okay. Now with the um, blender, however, after you blend this, you're going to want to strain it uh, to get okay, the consistency get, out. Yeah, if you so want juice. Okay, yeah, you because can then also it's going to be kind of, it's going to be pulpy and thick yeah. and all that. Okay. But you can also drink it like it is, more like a smoothie. Okay. You know. Let me blend really quick. Uh, how do you do this? <laughs> oh, gosh, <laughs> you, that's you, you also Pull, stir. Here we go. Stir, <laughs> chop, go. mix, puree. Yep. There we go. All right. And just keep Not it going. Bad. All right. Juicy. All right. Well, so after still, you get it to the ahead. texture you want, then you can drink it that way, or you probably want to pass it through a nice um, a strainer. A strainer, right? Yeah, because if it's you want still more a little juice. bumpy here. So yeah, you me, want to get a really let smooth let me, let me texture. Me how about this? All right. You know, also, as this is blending, I may I may just have to turn it off for a second. We'll continue with this in a moment. Uh, there's also a couple of other things. Other than juicing, though, you say yep. are really important to try to get your body back on track. That's right. Juicing is important because, you know, we need to get, everyone know, knows that you have to get five servings of fruits and vegetables a day, but who has the time for that? So just drink your juice. The other thing that we know that we need to do is get a little bit of exercise in. Sure. But Very important. people don't. Mm -hmm. I don't like to go to the gym. Underneath the suit is actually a couple of spaghetti <laughs> noodle arms. I don't believe they it. They are, yeah. Don't so believe it. I don't really like to go to the gym, so I tell my patients that, uh, for them, exercise is anything that makes them break one bead of sweat. That's it. Oh, interesting. That's simple. So you don't have to, you know. You want to find an activity. No, nope. you want to find an activity that you like. You want to try to get 10,000 steps a day, or do something that just makes you sweat a little bit. Okay. Once you stop sweating, like let's say you walk around the block and then you break a sweat, you do that for a week. That at, should suffice. At then. The I end, mean, uh, but at the end of the week, if you're no longer sweating. Then you need step to it up step a it up. Okay. That's right. And one last thing, which I found fascinating, was meditation. You yes. suggest meditation, meditating. Meditation used to be on the fringes of wellness, but now we have good studies now which show that meditation will um, increase or and regulate your metabolism as well as your DNA uh, changes. 
Interesting. Yep. Oh, well, Dr. Vong, thank you so much for coming Thanks, in. Elizabeth. We do have a, a recap of all of this on our website, casa.com. Click on Casa blog. I'm going to pour uh, this juice that we made. Drink it during the commercial break. Thank you so much. Thank you. Time right now, 846. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Stay right there. We're not done just yet. We're going to learn all about the northern Mexican gardener snake. Ooh, hope you like snakes. <laughs> I do. We'll be back.